Hello everyone, let's do this. Today's Spelunky Challenge. As always, actually I think I've unlocked some more characters since last time as well. So we've had these guys before. Uh, oh, now I, now I have... Um, oh, what's that boy's name from Up? Russell. Now I've got Black Russell and uh, this guy, Yogi Bear, whatever we decided to call him. But we're gonna we're gonna stick with Hulk Hogan, um, just because he, he's kind of the staple of the series now for me. I always play as Hulk Hogan. Here we go. We're playing this level. Of course, all the levels are randomly generated. However, <laughs> this looks a lot like some levels I have played recently. So maybe, just maybe, Spelunky is running out. Okay, that skeleton has no need for me whatsoever. Hey, bat! Ah, get out of here. Wonderful. I very nearly ran onto those spikes there. Did you see that? That would have been traumatic, <laughs> to say the least. I'm going to take this skull with me just in case. We might have a need for this. Such as shattering into a thousand pieces. Get out of here, spider. Hey, there's a mouse caught in. Oh, I am such an idiot. Why have I not learned my lesson yet? Every Just, just treat every pile of bones like it's going to tell you a dangerous story. Just don't get tangled in it. Just don't. There's no point. All it leads to is misery and despair. So for your own sakes, ignore piles of bones like they were dangerous. That's today's public safety announcement out of the way and I am now going to be taking bets on how soon it is before I forget my own advice. Shall I just bomb through here? Let's bomb through there. Where's the dog going? Oh, he's going to get caught in a web. We're okay. Ooh, we don't want the dog to get hurt. We need to recover that hit point that I lost embarrassingly. Okay, so that leads over to here, which, uh, again, looks like somewhere I could have only dropped into. So, let's just bomb. And have a nosy. Oh, there wasn't even anything in here. What a waste of ammunition. What an absolute waste. So, I shall apologise to uh, to you guys, the community, if my voice sounds a little bit different or a little bit deeper than normal. I have only really been aware of this, and um, like only just really come aware of it. I haven't really noticed. So, uh, apologies if you're sort of sat... Excuse me, if you're sat there going, Oh, where's Nick? He sounds remotely different. Yeah, I don't really know why that is. It, it, it just is. So, sorry. But here we go, look at that, a nice little kiss from the doggy. And on our merry way we continue a eh? we play. It's another skeleton, be careful. Let's examine this little lock away thing here. Picking up the money and the rock of course, the rock is important. We need a pet rock on our adventure here, just in case it comes in handy. <laughs> Wonderful, oh look at all this treasure, it's everywhere here. And we have a giant chest. This will come in useful if we find the key, which we will. Here we are. Da -da -da. Now I have the Eye of Horus. And I'm still not entirely sure what the Eye of Horus is for. Um, I, like, I know it reveals some gems in the landscape there, as I can see. But sometimes it flashes just randomly, and I'm not quite sure what the significance of the flash is. So, if anyone knows, then let me know, otherwise we're just going to not worry. So, I've got spike shoes and spring shoes here, and I'm going to buy them both for some reason. This is some very weird footwear that I have, but the spring shoes are very useful for getting there up to places. It saves you having to use a ninja rope, which is very cool. Um, and of course, we've been over the... Um, it doesn't always save you having to use a ninja rope, but you can get up to places you perhaps would have would have needed to use a ninja rope for had you not bought them. And of course we've been over the spike shoes and I do like the spike shoes, I find them very useful. Oh, hello spider, get out of here. <laughs> I'm still not quite sure how to get into that guy's little lair safely. Um, so, oh, that I saw that arrow trap that nearly killed me. Hey, spider, you! Oh, I thought I'd lost a. Oh, I did lose a hit point. Hey, 
Oh, that's hardly cricket. Hook! And what's over this way? Stuck in the web. There we go. Must be something over here, like a damsel! A fair maiden of the night. How goes it, my love? Let me carry you home to the cave's hole entrance thingy here. Wonderful! So this is good, we're kind of, we're breaking even on hits at the moment. I would like, my skin is crawling. Oh, I don't want, I don't want my skin to be crawling. This is not the place for crawling skin. I hate spider levels. See, there might be all sorts of useful things through here, but we'll never know. Let's try. Let's try and win this, because he can't get through. There we go. Okay, so that's one. This might actually be a good tactic. We might be able to get somewhere here. There's one of the babies. Let's see, he's going to come this way. He's going to carry on jumping. And soon he'll start crawling. And then we can just do the same there. And of course, it's not taking as many hits thanks to the usefulness of our spike shoes. And what we might be able to do here ooh, is just go over the top and not worry about setting him off. All for an emerald. It's a bit too risky for my blood now, so I think we're just going to carry on on our way. I don't know what's over there, and I haven't really got the bombs to find out, so we're just going to carry on. Irrespective of that. Oh, Jesus, webs everywhere, and I can't really go that way because of the arrow trap. Oof, I can't go that way as of yet, but there is a rock here. Excuse me. What's in here? Another spider. Okay, sometimes there's treasure in those things. Okay, now let's go this way. Haha! -ha, suck it, dangly spider. Oh no, I just saw you as well. Ah. And we could make a sacrifice to Carly there. I'm not quite sure what sacrificing to Carly does either. Um, because there has been, jeez. There has been levels where I've sacrificed like 12 people to Carly, and nothing seems to have happened, so I'm not quite sure what the significance of doing that is. Um, it's alright, we might be able to find out one day. It just says, oh, Carly seems pleased with you, which is good, I assume, because if you if you anger her, then she releases like metric tons of spiders onto you so we we don't want to anger her but at the same time I'm not quite sure what pleasing her is doing either oh why is my toad why is that happening <sighs> oh damsel hi let's just grab her no <laughs> I banged my head on the roof <laughs> Damn it! You saved me! Oh, look at that, she's not even got a health kit to revive me. Oh, let's have a look at this. How did we do? 519th! Huh. Oh well. Oh well, indeed. So, let's, um, let's just have a look at my stats, because I, I play this quite a lot. So, look, I've died 48 times in total. I was about to say, oh, and I've played 48 times, but obviously. Um, well, there we go. Thank you for watching today's episode of Spelunky, everyone. I um, let's just have a look at my achieves. <laughs> uh, why not? Yeah, thank you for watching today's episode of Spelunky. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then uh, feel free to leave a thumbs up and a comment in the below in the box below, <laughs> and um, let me know what you thought. And if you haven't done, be sure to subscribe already because if be. Oh, Bye bye. <laughs> Messed up my intro. One shot. F fluffed it. See you later. Bye bye.